We are back. <laughs> Man. Tell you, boy. Tell you, boy. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Good morning to hear the learn and share. Good morning to you. The birds are chirping. Ah. Good morning, Tish. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Rhonda Green. What's up, Seawalk? What's happening, man? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, good morning, little Hulk. What's happening with you, man? Now, if this is your first time tuning in to Tim's Tidbits, please allow me with all the sincerity in my being to say, Hulk, if it is not your first time tuning in to Tim's Tidbits, I still want to say, Hulk, but I want to give you a nice hearty, well, thank you for always tuning in to Tim's Tidbits. I really appreciate it. If you don't know who I am, my name is Timothy Lee Rogers Sr., a.k.a. Aranya Grande. That's Big Spider, if you don't, I blue Espanol. Good morning, 80. 80. I think you said it's 80. Like Haiti, I, if, I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. I might be remembering wrong, but good morning. And speaking of good morning, I am welcoming you all to Le Overnight Price <laughs> Action. Yeah, yeah, man. Where we talk about what Price did throughout the night. Speaking of what Price did throughout the night, I do not have my trade of you open. Oh. I was doing something before I logged on. I was going to try something. I'm going to, y'all going to try it with me. For those, oh, let me, uh, I didn't even update my charts. I need to update, I'm going to update my charts too. So we're going to update my charts. We're going to, well, first we're going to, um, first we're going to see if, um, if I can, I, I want to try something. And we're going to try it together. Uh, oh, I didn't open up the Discord. I'm going to open the Discord if any of the gang gang would like to. <laughs> I, the first bitch I see is from the stream yesterday. If any of the gang gang want to um pop in, I will be in the voice. Uh, for all the... Um, the uh, people on YouTube that's not part of the gang gang let you get a peek into our world. I shared this with the gang gang yesterday. Every every trade ain't a winning trade. I was tired yesterday on the live stream because I, I was up during the London trading. Price ain't do what I expected to do. I got caught up in some chop, got a full stop out, um, got an opportunity to take another trade. Got stopped out in profit for half of it back. Then I got an opportunity to take another trade during the New York. And I only shot to get the other half of the profit back. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to, it, it was, you know, the day was choppy. I wasn't trying to hit no home runs. I wasn't trying to, you know what I'm saying, revenge trade. I was able to get back slightly in the green. Called it a day. You know what I'm saying? Every day, every trade ain't going to be no win in trade. But discipline over dollars. Yeah, feel me. Okay. Um, I'm in live voice. If any of the gang gang want to, you know, pop in and um ask a question or something like that, I'm in live voice. But what I was trying to do is I was trying to, I got all this, all this stuff is on my other screen. Where's my mouse? Okay. 
Um, let's do a. Let's just do a full screen. Where's ten? Let's just do that one. Right, and we're going to make no background. I want the background to be clear. I want the background to be clear. So I need to start this over. No. And then the background is going to be transparent. Create. Okay. All right. Transparent background. And then I want to save this as a PNG. All right. So I'm going to save it as a PNG. BG test. That's what I'm going to name it. BG test. Save. Okay, Photoshop, I don't need you anymore. Get out of the way. I can't lose. Okay, so now. No, I don't. Okay, so now. Let's come over here. What's up, Royce? What's up, Kareem? What's up, Lump? What's up, the Russells? Uh, okay, so let's go to settings, virtual backgrounds, let's add a background, background test, save background. Um, nope, didn't work. Oh, yeah, 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 it might have worked. Oh, no, it didn't. It's still, it's a black square now. Yeah, so it didn't work. It's just a black square blocking everything now. Oh, well, I was trying to see if I could just get it to, like, show through. So I wouldn't be blocking none of the screen. But it's just a black square now. So that didn't work. So, all right, now, let's get into what we was doing. Which is... The overnight price action, which is uh, let me get mute that. All right, so put that there. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get myself together. Put that there. What's up, Sanjay? All right. And Discordia. Discordia, y'all can sit over there. Ain't nobody in there, but I'll sit that right over there. Again, if y'all want to pop in the Discord and ask anything, feel free to do so. Um, I got too many windows open. Close you. All right. Let's get to it, man. I got to update my charts. The market is open. <laughs> the market is open. The market is open. The market is open. If you're going to trade, please trade safe. If you're not going to trade, please take a copious amount. of notes so you can go back and study what you saw today and apply it to your future trading endeavors. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Now, I uh, need to update my charts real quickly. So let's, uh, for starters... I'm going to remove this stuff up here 
that's farther away from price right now, that weekly high. I'm going to leave that weekly low. The reason why I'm leaving that weekly low, because this is a four hour. Here's another teachable moment brought to you by Squirrel. Okay, I'm leave. I took away the weekly high. Let's start back. So when I'm updating my charts, I only want um move out of the way, tablet. I only want like stuff that's um significant to uh, current price action, right? So this weekly high from um last week is not relevant to current price action right now. What well, Tim, why not? Because we took sell side. We took sell side and we're still trading below sell side. So I'm gonna remove this weekly high. Okay, um, this monthly high. I'm going to remove this monthly high. Why? Because we took sell side and we're still below the monthly high. I, I mean the monthly low, right? So I'm, it's not it's not relevant to the current price section right now. While we were in between it, I want to see which one we're engaging, right? We've engaged this one and we're trading below it. So now I only want. I don't want to clutter my chart with stuff that I don't need to be looking at, right? This um, true year open, I'm going to leave that up there because I'm just studying um, quarterly theory. So I'm going to leave that there. Um, high previous day, right? We're going to mark out our yesterday's high. Right? They are. This is going to suck because my yesterday high and my previous low is right there. Okay. So I'm leaving this weekly low there why because that's a um prior low well tim we're trading below it who cares yes prior lows and prior highs are important to um price section this prior low is in line with a four hour sibi so i want to keep note of this is a prior weekly low that's inside this four hour civy this four hour civy's job is to keep price down if price gets excited and wants to trade deeper up into this civy i want to see how price reacts at this prior low one because it's a prior low and two because it's a prior weekly low that's a higher time frame PDA rate. And this teachable moment was brought to you by Squirrel. Okay. Now, this daily and old monthly is right next to each other. Me no lucky that. Me no lucky that. Let's um the names are overlapping. Or hey, let me do this. Lock that. I just locked it. Why is it still letting me select it? Cheese and rice. I hate when it does this, man. All right, so mark out my daily high, mark out my daily low. What's this note? One p. Okay, yeah, that's the that's the daily low right there. We've already. I see we've engaged the daily low. We engaged yesterday's daily low, and now we're trading towards yesterday's high. I see that already. Um, it's true, New York. Let's move this to seven thirty. Let's move this to 7.30, 7.30 a.m. Okay, True New York, What's this True Asia, move this to 7.30 p.m. 
seven thirty p.m. True London. Let's move this to one thirty a.m. One thirty a.m. All right, and then midnight. Let's move this to midnight. What's up, Ashwan? What's up, Shay Capital? Say Capital. <laughs> salute, consistently profitable traders. Salute, salute, salute. Hola, Valentine. The way you stay consistently profitable is discipline over dollars. Discipline over dollars. You have to manage that risk. You have to manage that risk. Okay, so I updated my what's the name lines, my quarterly theory lines. Y'all know I'm studying that, taking y'all along with me on my journey. I'm not I don't I don't talk about it a whole lot, but y'all see it on my screen, and I mention it, you know, from time to time. Uh, let's go to the four hour. We got our day set up. Oh, let's go to the daily. I'm tripping. Daily. Okay. So yesterday. We created a Sibby. Greatest. Oh, while I'm updating my charts, y'all, y'all, y'all always want to keep this in mind, right? Price, think about it like this. Mentees, mentees, I'm talking directly to you. I'm talking directly to you, mentees, right? Price is fractal. Okay. And we're on fair value gaps right now. So We're going to get to the overnight price action, but, you know, mentees and anybody else who's in here, can somebody, um, how many candles does it take to um, establish a fair value gap? What's the number of candles that it takes to establish a fair value gap? Put it in a check. Put it in chat. How many candles does it take to establish a fair value gap? Three. Very good. Three candles, right? Price is fractal. Okay. Since price is fractal, it's going to take three of however many time frames that you're looking at to establish a fair value gap on that level. So, if you're waiting for a fair value gap on a monthly chart, right? It took one, two, three entire months to create this busy right here, all right? If you're looking at a weekly chart, okay, it took one, two, three weeks to create this busy right here. Three weeks. Now, if you're looking at a daily chart, which we're looking at right now, right, it took one, two, three days to create this sibi right here price is fractal so when you're thinking about the concepts the concepts work on all time frames but you have to submit to the time frame that you're watching for the pdra to form for the analysis to play out remember yesterday when we we went back and we did a price action review from the time when we said we were going to draw down into we we anticipated price to draw down into this monthly fair value gap right 
we learned that it took 14 days, 10 trading days, but 14 calendar days for price to move from where it was when we said price could draw down into this fair value gap until um, Monday. It was 14 days to make that move. Price is fractal. You have to remember if you're when you're looking at the different time frames, not sure if my screen or not, but the chart looks blurry. I don't know. Do the chart look blurry to y'all? I don't know. Is it too blurry to see or is it just not crystal clear? I don't know. But yeah, it's so you have to submit to the time frame that you're watching, right? You got to submit to the time frame a little bit, but it, okay, all right. So it, it just ain't showing like HD right now. Okay, that's cool. I can live with that. I can live with the fact that it ain't just showing HD. You, what did I just close? I closed the wrong thing. Um, so you have to submit to the time frame that you're watching. So you don't want to, if you're waiting for a daily swing low to form, you have to submit to the fact that it's going to take at least three full days for that to happen. And then if price doesn't decide to retrace, it can take even longer because, for example, here, this, this day we trade on the 8th, we traded. The 9th, we traded lower, right? On the, on the 10th, we opened up here. It was a possibility to create a swing low, but then we traded lower. Then on the 11th, we traded lower. Then on the 12th, we traded lower. Then on the 15th, we traded lower. So we still ain't got that swing low yet. On the 16th, we traded lower, right? Open up here. Today, we had a chance to make a swing low, but we traded lower. So we still ain't made a swing low on the daily. So it's like, if you're anticipating the PDRA to form, you have to submit to the time frame that you're on and you got to let it form on that time frame. Now, I'm pretty sure on if we go down to the four hour, there's plenty swing low. God dog it. I'm on the wrong screen. There's plenty swing lows. At, look at there. Swing low, swing low, swing low, swing low. Swing low, swing low. It's plenty of swing lows formed on the four hour, but that makes no never mind to waiting on a swing low to form on the daily. I think y'all get what I'm talking about. I think you get what I'm talking about. Now, look at look at who stole the cookie, right? Look at look at who stole the cookie. We were talking about this low right here i left it on there because it was a, a a swing low inside this four hour fair value gap and if if price got excited and wanted to trade up in there i want to see how it reacted at this level right here look what it look what it aligns with the high of the daily fair value gap that we just formed yesterday so we got a higher time frame pda rate right aligning with a higher time frame PDA array right in the middle of a you know relatively high time frame PDA array so we got layers upon layers upon layers of very sensitive areas right there at that low where i was like i'm gonna leave it there that 5150 5150 at that 5150 right there um on the four hour, 
don't want to change anything. We just got our four hour civvy up there. Um, and that's gonna do it for update my charts. That's gonna do it for update my charts. All right, let's look at the overnight price. Hexion. We got an hourly civvy in the same spot. Right? So we got an hourly civvy, four hour civvy, daily civvy, weekly low, right there in the area. Okay, um, we got relative equal highs up here. Price has taken sell side and rejected. When price rejects one side of the market, your target becomes the high that sent you there. This is the high that sent us there. We went through that high, um, and we're respecting this um, very small um, busy right there. Mentees, mentees, mentees. Mentees, remember, remember what I was telling. We're on fair value gaps, mentees. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is built. This is in line with what we just did. Matter of fact, mentees, before I go into this, y'all pull up tonight with your hard hitting questions on these on these monthly Q and A's and these weekly Q and A's. I be having to pull questions out. The Q and A's are driven by y'all. I I want to share all that I know, but the Q and A's are driven by y'all. I'm getting tired of pulling questions out of y'all. I'm gonna pull up if don't nobody ask no questions in five ten minutes. We gonna be up. Oh, that's it. Y'all ain't got no questions. I'm gone. Go. I'm go hang out with my family, man. Y'all got to pull up with your hard hitting questions. Now, remember what I told you. Everything about ICT concepts, if you don't remember anything else, if you take noty note note takers, noty note note takers, take a note. Everything about ICT concepts. Remember we remember when we did that video and I said stop looking for IC, stop looking for ICT concepts everywhere. I'm repeating that now. Only look for the concepts. I didn't spell that right. Concepts to play out at key. And we're going to put a key in there. At key, two types of keys. Oh, that's an ugly key. I don't, I don't want that one. Key price points. I was gonna say levels, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna confuse anybody because we don't trade levels. We we trade price action, right? We trade price action. Only look for the concepts to play out at key price points right let's talk about no for talk because i say i'm gonna end it why you said no because i say i'm gonna end it if y'all ain't got no questions okay so this right here we're gonna get to the the overnight price section i'm i'm in i'm in my zone right now i'm in my zone with my brushy brush brush okay Y'all see what this is? God dog it. Oh, I got to turn it off. Y'all see what this is right here? That right there is a daily low. <laughs> well, Tish, pull up with your question. Pull up with your questions, dear. The, uh, this right here is a daily low. What is a daily low? Somebody put in the chat. What is a daily low? For little Timmy Rogers, we say just that price points and kill zones, kill zones. It's all the same thing, right? You look, it's during kill zones, but it's just not in the kill zone. It's at key price points. Yes, in your key price points. That's very good. Um, 
um, Sa, but little Timmy Rogers calls it an anticipatory reactionary point. <laughs> hey, hit learn the shell. Don't be coming. We ain't getting no more abbreviations. No more. No more. From this day forward, no more abbreviations. We don't need no more. <laughs> we don't need no ARP. <laughs> An anticipatory reactionary point. Right? So, when Price came into this anticipatory reactionary point, right, we took off and we formed a bissy, right? We formed a bissy right here, right? And remember what we talked, I'll do it like this. Let me be drawing this out, right? We formed a bissy right, right there, right? And remember what we talked about. We had candle one, candle two, and candle three. Y'all, y'all, please, you know, y'all get it. Candle one, candle one, candle two, candle three, right? What do we say? We said the magic happens at candle three, right? Candle three. What type of candle three is this right here? Mentees? That's a sentence. <laughs> You better type it. You better type it. Anticipatory reactionary point. What kind of candle is this candle three right here? Expansion candle, right? So at a anticipatory reactionary point, we created a busy, which the candle was an expansion candle. The expansion candle means that I don't want to go back to that um, busy right now. So price didn't go back to the busy, right? Don't just be looking for busies anywhere with expansion counters and saying, hey, Tim said you ain't supposed to go back to that busy immediately. Only look for it to play out at key price points. And it's not always going to be 100% because there can always be manipulate. And when it doesn't do what this is algorithmic trading we hit a key price point we created a pd array with a certain signature and price didn't immediately trade back to it and then we came back down to this pd array right here right which has a candle that didn't expand above the high and it retraced deeply back into the busy candle is showing I may feel this before continuing on. And price came down and touched it there and then went up, right? So we came down and got an institutional order flow entry drill. We didn't feel it. We didn't, but we retraced back to it, right? It's letting you know, I may... I may, you see, but if this was a deep retracement candle, that's even more, hey, I want to, I may feel that before going on. When did all this happen? Reacting to a key price point, an anticipatory reactionary point. And this teachable moment, yes, that is a breaker. And this teachable moment has been brought to you by Squirrel. We had a lot of teachable moments today. Now, if this is your first time tuning into Tim's Tidbits, say it again. Now, if this is your first time tuning into Tim's Tidbits, don't be looking for teachable moments like this all the time. It just happens to happen sometimes. When I'm running my mouth and I see something, I'm like, ooh, ooh, look. But yeah. All right. Yes, that is a breaker. Um, and for it's a bullish breaker, and so the in this case, for those who don't know what a breaker is, we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna share what a breaker is. I don't need this anymore. 
for those who don't know what a breaker is, a breaker is uh, a PD array where you trade like this, right? So you got a high, you got a low, a high, a lower low, and then a higher high, right? This high broke this low and that low and then trade it back through it, right? So that is your bullish breaker. Right there. This is your breaker right here. These up close candles there, that's your bullish breaker. We trade it back into the breaker right there, and then we pushed up. So this candle right here created the breaker right this candle right here created the bissy and then these right here traded back down into it this candle here right touched the breaker there this candle here touched the bissy there all inside the breaker and then we pushed up off of that It looked like Brady Mac. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. You, I know where I know you from. I know where I know you from. Who they used to call you Jawbone? Boy, you you a lucky man. I ain't got to tell you. <laughs> man, stop distracting me, man. Stop distracting me. How, how did y'all feel from when a tooth used to be, Lump? How you feeling straight today? I know when they pulled my, I thought I was going to be down bad, but when they pulled my tooth. Um, yes, a Bissy and a Sibby are fair value gaps. So when you hear me say Bissy and Sibby, that's just, I don't want to say bullish fair value gap and bearish fair value gap. So. Bissy, B I S I, Sibby, S O, B C, C B. Right? So, this right here is a, it's a bullish fair value gap. It stands for buy side imbalance sales side a hey, Siri spell inefficiency inefficiency I N E F F I C I E and efficiency and then the sibi is a sell side imbalance god dog it Come here imbalance buy side inefficiency Bissy, this, this is stuff that Michael made this. I didn't make this up. Michael made this up with the ICT. He teaches ICT concepts, right? Bissy is a classification of a fair value gap. Sibi is a classification of a fair value gap. So if it's a buy side imbalance, meaning price just offered buy side delivery, there is a inefficient amount of sell side being offered so you have a buy side imbalance with a sell side inefficiency within this area right there and then a sibi you're only offering sell side delivery so there's a sell side imbalance with a inefficient amount of buy side in that area right there 
And plus, for me, it's just easier to say Bissy and Sibby instead of we got a bullish fair value gap over here. We got a bearish fair value gap over there. Bissy here, Sibby there. It's just easier for me to say. And I can just it like with I, I can give the I can give the, the, the bias of the fair value gap without having to say all them extra words by saying Bissy and Sibby. I triggered all y'all. <laughs> My bad. I ain't mean to. Hey, Siri, what's the temperature like right now? It's 70 degrees right now. And we ain't going to leave out. Hey, Alexa, what's the temperature right now? No, thank you, Alexa. Let's get to the uh let's get to the uh overnight price action. We didn't get to the overnight price action yet. We just been teaching today. Okay, so let's find six o'clock. Let's go to 15 minute candles. Let's find six o'clock p.m. For those who don't know, the futures market opens at 6 p.m. So at 6 p.m., we opened up and we just consolidated for uh a while until around 7:15. Then we traded above the short-term buy side that we had um, established with that little small consolidation. And then we quickly reversed with uh, a late Judas uh, around 8 p.m. This is after the um, true Asian open. We traded below the true Asian open, um, hinting that price wants to go lower. And if you want to, let's talk about um, the, the, the uh, quarterly theory now. If you're bearish, um, you want to try to get an opportunity to go short above the true open. If you're bullish, you want to try to find an opportunity to go long below the true open. Right. So we got a Judas here, which would have put you bearish. So you would have been looking for opportunity if it presented itself to get short above the Asian true open at that, what is that? 50. I got too much going on with them lines over there. 50. 102 even. All right. And then we consolidated above 51, 5102 even until shortly after midnight. And then around one o'clock AM, we poof, dropped drop dropped it like it's hot and engaged with the daily low got a nice rejection off of the daily low and that presented us with another led Judas because it let us low rejected took the high and then here around 5 a.m we traded back down to the true open of the asian pushed up taking out the buy side above all of the previous price action um even up until what time is that 3 p.m yesterday we took so we took out a high from like yesterday afternoon and then we traded back down started around 645 we came back down again to the um true asian open taking out the sale side that we had accumulated from roughly 5 a.m up until 8 a.m poked below it and then we took off right took out the buy side right here coming into Oh, yeah, we had the true New York open. So we got above the true New York open, right? Took out the buy side. Took out the buy side, came down to the true New York open again, respecting this busy, very close to the um, buy side. And then, oh, yeah, that's at the open. So at the open, 
We came down, respected this busy, and now we've come down and taken out the sale side. Now, let's see if we get hit with Le Judas. Le Judas by taking by from the open, taking out the sale side, and then quickly reversing and taking out the buy side. Let's see if it gives us a Le Judas. Because that's the opening candle right there. We've come down and we've engaged the sale side. We've taken out all of the sale side that was established since 5 a.m. Okay. We've taken out the sale side that was established since 5 a.m. From midnight, we made a beeline down to the prior day's low and then we rejected off of it. All right. So, London, we had a tight range. Midnight, we made a beeline straight to some liquidity and then now we've reversed if this low holds and we continue up this right here would be an example of what they call the london protractionary state right where asian has a small range from midnight to roughly two three o'clock Price will make a beeline and create the low or the high of the day. And then New York will be a continuation from um, the London. That will be an example of a London of a London protractionary state. That's that's a daily profile. If you look at ICT page, he have like daily profiles. And this daily profile will be the London protraction. And then you got what's called a delayed, a, a delayed London protraction where this protraction, a.k.a. Judas swing, happens a little later. But small consolidation range Asian from midnight to roughly two or three beeline to some kind of liquidity. And that ends up being the low or high of the day. And then the New York ends up being a continuation so if we get led you that's here right take out that sell side from the open led you this sell side go up take out the buy side that would be london protraction state and we are gunning for this buy side right here we're gunning for this buy side right here so what you will be looking for is that we on this 15 minute, we still aren't making any sibbies, right? We're not making any sibbies coming down. So right now, price is not get showing you that it wants to reverse yet, right? We're not making any sibbies. So um, I'm still looking up for now. Why? Because we have higher time frame PD arrays above us. We swept sell side and we're all it's all ships to go toward this buy side thus far and we're not creating any imbalances to the downside so hey man i'm getting all into i'm getting all into what i'm thinking this ain't what this about we're just supposed to be talking about the overnight price action y'all that that's gonna be it i'm done anybody got anything for me anybody got anything for me Anybody got any questions? If you're part of the gang, gang, you can jump in the Discord and unmute and ask your question. But if you ain't part of the gang, 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 you can click on the link that I just put in the chat, paste, and ask your question. Hey, paste and ask your question or if you're in the gang gang and you like the youtube better you can click on the link and ask your question oh man it's 10 10. One more jewel, the 950 to 1010 macro attack the sell side. 
the 950 to 1010 macro attack the sell side. The macro's job is to seek out liquidity or imbalance. It will either seek out liquidity to punish those who have been winning or as a continuation. I trade every day that I see a setup that I want to take. If I see a setup that I want to take, I take it. That's in response to the question of, um, are you trading today? If I see a setup that I want to take, I take it. If I do not, I do not. Yesterday, I took three trades. Two during the London. Once got my head bust in. The second one, I recovered half of that head busting. And then I took another trade yesterday at 11 something. It was like 11 something. And I recovered the other half of my skull. So if I see a setup, I'll take it. In this case right here, it punished those that were winning, that were being, so the longs were, you know what I'm saying? The longs were, were getting it. Took that out. The longs was getting it. And then the um, 950 to 1010 macro bust them in the head. What's the, if you look at five minute chart there, the 950 to 1010 macro window is right here. Right here. Macro window, macro window, right? So that's the highest price and the lowest price during the macro window, right? The macro engaged sale side. On the five minute, we have all right. We we got some displacement on the five minute right there. Got some displacement on the five minute right there. We shall see. We shall see if it goes to previous day low. We shall see. Or if we get hit with Lejudas. That's why I say we're looking to see if we hit get hit with Lejudas. Because on the 60 minute, we have come down into a busy. Right here, we have come down into a busy on the 60 minute hourly fair value gap. So we've come down into a busy on the 60 minute, right? So we swept sell side, pushed up, took out this high right there, traded back down into that busy right there. That busy's job is to keep price up, right? That busy's job is to keep price up. So if that busy does his job, okay, if that busy does his job, his job is to push price at least to that high right there. Why? Because that's the closest um, liquidity point from this busy, right? His job is just to get to his closest liquidity point. So if he does his job, let's draw this out. If he does his job, right? Come back there. Right? And let's go to the 15 minute candle. What does that look like? That looked like when we said, let's see if we get hit with Led Judas. Right? So now. The 15 minute, now we're in between the tail of two cities. We're in between the tail of two cities now because now we have 
a Sibby. This Sibby, this Sibby broke market structure, right? So when you get a SIBI or BISI that breaks market structure, you don't want to see that field, right? You don't want to see that field. That's price saying on this time frame, I want to continue down for some reason. What's that reason? There's a one hour BISI right here. This one hour BISI, that reason would be like trading down to get that um sale side right like you like you were saying it looked like price want to go to this sale side right but what's standing in his way his big brother has a busy right here so he has to fight if he can fight through this busy right and get an hourly closure below it get an hourly closure below this busy down here Right. So we got 43 more minutes to see if he can force a hourly closure below that busy to get to his objective down here. But we're in between the tail of two cities right now. So for me, this is low probability conditions right now for me to be looking for an entry. Yeah, it's it's not it's and it's not a um 15 minute. It's not a 15 minute busy. It ain't finished yet. Thank you for that. It ain't finished yet. It's not a 15 minute busy. It's just like heavy displacement. The candle ain't finished yet. The candle just started. The candle just started. So it's got the potential to be a busy. Right. So if it's exceedingly bearish, this right here has the potential to be a busy. Right now, the only thing we actually have is a bearish breaker. This is the only thing we actually have right now is a bearish breaker. And when do we wick? If this was a fair value gap already, we will mark the breaker here at the wick. If it was a fair value gap already. But if the wick falls in the fair value gap, I wick. If the wick doesn't fall in the fair value gap, I body. But the only thing we got right now is a um bearish breaker. So this is the area I'll be watching for sensitivity until this 15 minute candle closes. Why? Because that's the lowest low of the breaker to the body. So on the first touch, right, if we were to trade back up, first touch meaning the this very next candle after creating it, if we were to trade back up, I'm looking for sensitivity in that area right there. All right, for first touch. And we got 10 more minutes left on this um, counter right here. But like I was saying, right now, this is like for the lower time frame is low probability for the lower time frame. Why? Because on the higher time frame, I will be looking to buy here with a stop loss down here on the 60 minute. Looking to buy with a stop loss there. Right. On the five minute, right, I will be looking to sell here. On the five minute, I'll be looking to sell there on the five minute with a stop loss up here, right? But you're looking to sell while you're looking to buy off of a higher time frame so on a lower time frame it's just lower probability for me right now like they're not the the time frames aren't lining up it's not lining up for me man we are going crazy with the teachable moments right now i'm about to get off live hey 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 get off my screen <laughs> 
Hey, man, I appreciate y'all for hanging out with your boy. I don't see anything in the chat. Nobody unmuted on the Discordia. So I bid you adieu. Until the next time I decide to get on Al Gore's internet and share my thoughts on this thing that we like to call price <laughs> action. Uh-oh, speaking of price action. This has been another episode of Le Overnight Price <laughs> Action Review. And it's your boy, Aranya Grande. For my non-Spanish-speaking -speak, folks, if you don't hablo espanol, that's big spider. You hear me? Y'all be safe out here in these straight streets, man. I'm gone. <laughs>